Hello and welcome and in this video I'm going to be seeing if I can turn trash into terrain in less than one hour and that one hour is going to be from start to finish including drying times and I'm going to do this twice with two different pieces with two different hours and the first one's going to be like some industrial pipes made out of toilet roll we're all pretty much familiar with that pretty confident I'll manage to do that one and the second one I'm going to use this egg box to see if I can make some sort of like big anti-tank blocks what will happen is I will press play on this and then I'll do these uh, as sort of like I would do any tutorial and we'll see if by the time it gets to the 60 minute mark whether or not I've actually done it and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes let's let's start the clock I did press start so that's always a good a great start let's go as the hot glue gun heats up, do consider liking and subscribing if you're interested in terrain. So there's the already existing glue lines where I, what I'm actually going to do is put a seam of glue straight down the middle of them and glue it exactly in between. So let's just get to it. There is no time to waste. I possibly shouldn't have done the glue all the way to the end though. Not, not ideal, not ideal. Obviously we are using hot glue purely for speed. And then we'll just line up this one where I want it. I'm not happy with that edge there, so I'm going to try and glue the edge there. Try and mark it up so we want this and this. I need a pen, I need a pen. You can never find a pen when you need one. So what I'm going to do is actually mark it both on the inside of this. I'm going to mark a line here and a line here where, where I sort of want the glue to contact. I'll do that on the back. It's roughly where I want the hot glue. Try to stick that to the inside of it. Just press it all together, press it all together. Just hitting the four minute mark and I'm going to go outside and spray it with some black spray. I'm going to try and do it from a distance to get a bit of texture on the cartons. I don't want to film this outside because I'd have to take the camera and everything so I'm going to do it very quickly and uh, I'll be back in a moment. Just over 10 minutes in, and if I'm honest, I haven't done the best job spraying that. I can still see bits of the card uh, in places. Obviously, it just looks pure black on camera, but um, yeah, we'll have to decide which, which way around it's going to be. 16 minutes in, and I'm pretty sure it's dry enough for me to give it its first layer. And the first layer is just going to be this dark metallic that I've mixed on this piece of card. Um, I'm just going to give it like a 90% coverage. I'll try and stipple, see if I can get any texture with this uh, this paint. Although I don't think it's really thick enough. I'm also covering any of the bad spray spray paint that I did. Pretty much done. Um, a very dark silvery colour. I tried to get any bits that I'd miss with the spray paint. Um, I'm not really too worried about the underside, but you could cover it if you wanted. And uh, yeah, what I'm going to do next is mix a little bit of rust colour. So I'm going to get some orange and some brown. 25 minutes have just gone. And I'm now going to add the rust. We've done the metallic effect. I'm going to add rust. Now, this is basically an orange paint and a brown paint mixed together. And I'm going to use my brush to sort of stipple it on. Something I wouldn't normally do, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. I say stipple it. I might do just going to brush it on. I just want to give it a nice aged effect. And I'm actually thinking I don't like that. I'm going to quickly move to the, the, the sponge instead. You can see the difference from one side to the next. This is a bit too much there though, so again, I'm gonna wipe that off. Sponge that off with a bit of tissue. It's not perfect for sure. My uh, stippling with this brush not quite what I would have liked uh, to be fair quite frankly I was trying to get in these little crevices and I think what I possibly should have done is actually sprayed it brown um, instead of black but I thought black would do a nice color for the silver obviously I've gone pretty much all over this anyway so um, yeah it's not not at all perfect for sure so I've muted the orange with essentially just brown not convinced it looks like a metal pipe I spent too long dabbing that and sponging that paint on. I should have just sprayed it brown, but you know, mistakes were made. You wipe that on a table and it is what it is. It, it looks vaguely okay. We've stopped the clock at 47 minutes and four seconds. Um, if I'm honest, it wouldn't have taken that long, but I spent ages trying to get the rust right. I'll do close-ups uh, at the end. Um, it's not my best work, 
but in 47 minutes it's, it's all right in it <laughs> do you know what i mean anyway i'll do close-ups once i've done the next one and we'll do the next one in a moment moving on to the second one then we're going to take these egg cartons basically I'm going to take the inside of these cartons and make like a little roadblock kind of thing i'd seen somebody do it on like pinterest or something and um, i just wanted to replicate it so i'm going to hit start and uh, yeah the key thing with this one i'm going to base it so i'm going to put sand on it which is going to add time but i'm going to try and get around that by using super glue look this stuff's not amazing but you know we're going we're going cheap and quick basically so let's get to it boom let's go Gonna just cut out the uh, card, well, the middle section, the bit that we're actually gonna use. I will try and straighten it in a minute, but you can see what we're going with here. It doesn't quite sit perfectly, but not really a problem. In fact, it's actually probably better if I get some scissors. And that should sit. I was gonna say perfectly flat, but it's not doing because these ends are uh, um, built a little bit differently, so I'm actually going to have to extend it. I do apologise, the camera's a bit on the bright side right now. I'm actually having to angle this a little bit, just because of the way that it's built. There we go. Now, the problem is to get the second one looking exactly the same. There's a little hole in that one which isn't ideal, but we're just going to rock rock with it. And we're going to do them, essentially, we're going to do it like that, I think. So we'll get some card. Just drew it around it on a, with the pen, just to cut out a rough base for this. I would have used foam board, but the problem with foam board is it doesn't like super glue. Can't really make my mind up which way to put them. Could put them like that. Looks a bit boring like that. I'm going to put them at a slight angle, which I might come to regret, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I've already got the hot glue gun ready, so I'm literally just going to whack this on the bottom of these. I'm not too worried if I'm running out of hot glue, but I'm not too worried if I put too much on this. This first one's less important because it doesn't have to align with anything. Take away these wisps. The... Perfect. You know what I might do? I might actually fill in this hole <laughs> with a bit of uh, soup, uh, hot glue. There we have it. There's one. We're gonna get this bot. We're gonna get the second one done. Same thing. Always unplug your hot glue gun. Very important. Seven minutes in, and um, yeah, I just need to base it, and then I'm gonna spray it. Now, this bit should be relatively easy. I'm gonna use super glue. Super glue. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Fine, super glue, gonna go straight on it. Some cheap super glue. I'm a bit worried that it's gonna soak into the card and it won't actually dry, but we'll see. I'm not even beveling this edge, I'm not doing anything. I'm just gonna take my sand, can't really see this. I'm just gonna, oh, it's going everywhere. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, stinging my eyes, damn. We can see there was a little bit of mist, so I'm just going to go back in and put that there. Fine, then we'll do the rest. Well, actually, I'll do the middle bit here. Obviously, you would normally just use PVA. Speed is of the essence. I will give that a minute just to um, to dry before I go spray it. You know, I should be wearing goggles and have the window open for this. My eyes are stinging a little bit. Were your personal protective equipment don't don't do what i'm doing i'm sacrificing things for speed and i really shouldn't i'm gonna go outside and spray this brown um i could you could do it gray i'm just gonna do brown and try and hopefully not uh, paint the ground i tried to spray that with leather brown but my brown spray is just sort of squirting out a little single jet of color rather than a spray not sure what's wrong with that if you if you can help let me know in the comments otherwise i might have to just throw it so i actually sprayed it with a fur brown um, from army painter and then on the actual concrete bits that i want from from the egg carton um i just sprayed it gray now it's not quite perfect because i sprayed the ground and there's brown on the egg carton but uh, we're gonna let that dry it should dry maybe like five ten minutes and then i might just go straight onto the dry brushing and finish with a wash um if i dry brush this like um 
you know, a lighter grey and then a lighter brown could be okay and could be done. In the meantime, I'm going to try something crazy and try and make a second piece. I saw from the place where I saw this, um, the guy made like a barricade using the egg carton. So I'm going to try that. So for this, I'm going to simply cut the carton in half. Cut this little end off here, this little tab. And I think the idea would be, I'm not sure, let's cut this bit off here. Oh, and you know what? That actually doesn't look so bad. I just cut off these nubs at the bottom. So I did like this little rim at the bottom, but it's now causing problems because it uh, looks like it's come off. So I'm actually going to cut that off. As this piece is sort of like a little extra, what I'm going to do is actually use EPVC for the base. Now I realise that's not uh, exactly kosher when it comes to trash, but meh, sue me. And uh, because I think it will look a little bit better more that way, I'm going to do it like so. It does nearly take up the whole thing. Let's just use the hot glue gun and get, get this on here. Try and get the ends on at least. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Try and get these wisps off before I get it on the board. It's stuck to my hand. Oh, got my finger on that. Not a great idea, it is burning me, but you know. Let's get it down. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. That's not what we're going for. We're just going for down. Okay, well, I don't like the shape of that, so I'm gonna just uh, slightly cut in here. Like so, do it. That just gives it a nice little like uh, indent, a nice little shape. Okay, gotta sand it then. Same thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use super glue. Same as I did the last time. Problem. Um, <laughs> can't see where the super glue <laughs> is on the white background. And I appear to run out of super glue. So that is a problem. Let's see if I can find another tub of super glue quickly. Okay, I actually really like this barricade, but it did take a little bit longer than I expected. We got 25 minutes left. However, I think it'll be reasonably easy to just dry brush the next piece. Uh, well, the piece that we've actually been working on. And you can see um, it's pretty much dry. I'm just gonna dry brush this with a lighter gray and then dry brush this with a lighter brown. Ideally, I would have gone and sprayed this, but obviously I wanna just make sure I'm gonna get this one done in my allocated. Time. I quite like the way that the spray is uh, put a bit of brown on this, it makes it look worn. I think we're pretty much finished. Pretty much finished, 41 minutes on the clock. I could pause it there, but obviously we've done the little like anti-tank uh, blockade. That would obviously look better if you had more. However, let's try the little barrier here, um, this barricade. Let's see if I can go spray it. Um, and I'm going to spray it grey and then we'll see how it actually looks um, if I can get the ground painted brown. About six minutes left, I need to dry brush this. It doesn't look like the ground will be done in time, but the barricade itself is probably mostly dry. Try and catch the edges here. We're down to almost the last minute. The, I've dry brushed the barricade itself, but this ground is not quite dry yet. Uh, as we kick into like the last 50 seconds, I'm going to try and dry brush it, even though really I know that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so um, yeah, there's what, 40 seconds left. Uh, and this isn't going to look right because I'm, I'm wet, in a, inadvertently here I'm wet, wet blending which is not what we're actually trying to achieve with these, uh, as a cock tick down. Keep in mind, this is the second piece and I wasn't really planning on making this. Hands down, the time changed a couple seconds ago. And uh, yeah, well, ideally, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this dry and uh, then dry brush it. I might even put a, a bit of um, some foliage on it, on both of them, actually, for, for sure, I don't know, because I got distracted by the second piece, but I could definitely put foliage on this one and it would not have taken me very long. Well then, I've got to admit, I'm counting this as an absolute win. Now, these um, these pipes, perhaps not the biggest of the wins, they were 
very easy to do. I spent longer on it trying to get the right shade of like brown and rust. If I'm honest, it's not as metallic -y as I would have wanted, but I was rushing obviously because I wanted to make sure we got there within the hour. I think you spend a little bit more time on them and you end up with a fantastic result. And then for the little like tank buster roadblock things, obviously I think it would look better if you had more of the core middle bits and uh, yeah, so maybe if you wanted like a 12 set and I believe plastic would be better, but that's obviously worse for the environment. You know what though, for cheap and easy, it looks decent. I've used a cardboard base and that's reasonably sturdy. I would recommend using PVA glue for your sand and using foam board for your base if you are going for a cheap option. Obviously EPVC is my favourite and EPVC is actually what I use for the barricade version of that. That was actually a spur of the moment thing. I had seen that on like Pinterest or something in the same place where I saw the big rogue box but I thought um, you know we'll give it a go and if I'm honest it looks pretty decent. I've used EPVC for the base. I still use super glue for speed and then my brown paint hadn't quite dried in time before the hour was up but to be fair I only started this halfway through so it, it nearly took 30 minutes each. Honestly you could probably do all of these in 30 minutes and you have some terrain. All in all though I think you know I, I was very satisfied with the terrain that we made each one within an hour and you know that's easily done very pleased with that. If you like this video, do like and subscribe. I do hope you though, you have a most beautiful day. Goodbye.